In this video, I'll be covering the algebraic operations of functions. Um, so this summarizes uh, the four operations we'll be seeing, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The only thing to note, um, to be careful of, is the multiplication of functions. Sometimes students see this, and they think that f circle g of x is multiplication. This is not. This is a composition, which is something different. So um, when we see this, do not multiply the functions together. If we see f g like this with no nothing in between, um, that means we're going to be multiplying the functions. Um, so let's illustrate what's happening here with an example. All right. If we have two functions, f of x equals x minus 1 and g of x equals x squared minus 1, find each of the following. So f minus g of x, all that this means is we take the f function and we subtract the g function. All right, so we're going to have x minus 1 minus the entire g function, x minus 1 minus x squared plus 1. The 1s will cancel. We end up with x minus uh x squared. Okay, um, f plus g of x, similar to what we just saw, x minus 1. Uh, let me write out the intermediate step here. This just means f of x plus g of x. So we're going to say x minus 1 plus x squared minus 1 x minus 1 plus x squared minus 1. So we end up with x squared plus x minus 2. All right, all pretty straightforward. This means f of x times g of x. So we're going to have x minus 1 times x squared minus 1. When we distribute this out, we get x cubed minus x squared minus x plus 1. Okay, and then the last one, um, we get x, sorry, this is f of x divided by g of x. So we get x minus 1 divided by x squared minus 1. So the only thing to be careful of with this one, uh, well, let, let me talk about all four of these uh, situations. Um, to find the domain... We want to think about each individual function, the domain of each individual function, and then whatever the domain is of the final um, combining. Now, the original functions, f of x and g of x, are just polynomials. When we add, subtract, and multiply polynomials, if we start with polynomials, in those instances, we always end with polynomials. So the domain of those three is going to be all real numbers. Um, f divided by g we need to be careful of though because we start with two polynomials f and g but when we divide those that becomes a rational function so to find the domain of this we need to figure out when the denominator is equal to zero the denominator is equal to zero when x is equal to one or negative one so x cannot be one or negative one so on a number line we'd have everything except negative one and one uh, shaded. So the domain here would be negative infinity to negative 1, union negative 1 to 1, union 1 to infinity. Alright, and one last thing I want to show with those two functions. Um, suppose we had something like f plus g of 5. What this means is find f of 5, add that to whatever g of 5 is. So f of 5, put in a 5 here, we get 5 minus 1 is 4. g of 5 is 25 minus 1 is 24. So this is going to be equal to 28. Okay, And when we have a numeric value after we do any sort of um, algebraic combining uh, of functions, if we have something numerical, we don't need to worry about the domain. All right, so I think that's pretty much it for uh, 
using algebraic operations for more than one function.